So on the blog, I've uh, done this £10 trading. And you can see uh, on this video that um, we've used £10 in stakes and we traded by swing trading on racing. The last time I used £10 stakes, I was scalping. So I just wanted to demonstrate that both strategies are viable as long as you apply them correctly and you have a, a structure to be able to apply them to the market. Uh, but the reason that I do these £10 uh, trades is it's important for me, knowing that there are lots of new traders out there and loads of people who've never used trading tools and so on and so forth before, to demonstrate that it's still perfectly possible to do um, any type of trading using small stakes. In fact, I think it's easier because the problem you get when you use larger stakes is entering and exiting the market becomes harder and also getting your order filled becomes a bit harder as well. So in fact, it's always been easier for me to use small stakes than to use large stakes. Some people sort of think, well, of course he can make money because he's got very large stakes. Well, actually, it's a lot harder to be able to do anything using larger stakes. It doesn't work as well. Um, so therefore, you know, using smaller stakes reminds me that all of the stuff that I talk about is still valid. But it also demonstrates that there's still a path for people who want to trade at lower levels or perhaps don't want to take that risk or just want to earn just a little bit of money as opposed to huge amounts. So, you know, the opportunity is there to use bigger stakes, but you have to modify your strategies and, you know, cross that bridge when it comes to it. But using smaller stakes, you can actually achieve quite good returns very, very quickly. So, you know, turning 10 or 20 pounds um, on a stake of 10 pounds isn't a huge monetary value. But when you look at it in percentage terms, it is huge. But the way that I went from small stakes, because that's where I started. You know, I started using two pound stakes when I first started trading. You'll never get rich doing that. So you have to increase your stakes somehow. And what I used to do was just compound my profits. So basically, when I had a profitable day, I would increase my stake. And if I had an unprofitable day, I would decrease it slightly. And therefore, you know, if you have a net positive strategy and you compound it, then basically the equity curve goes exponential. It just gets very large very quickly. Um, but, you know, I started using small stakes as well. So, yeah, every now and again, I go back, revisit it. I want to make sure that what I'm talking about isn't complete rubbish, <laughs> that it's still valid and still works. Um, so I'll drop back and, and do this now and again, uh, maybe even on a secondary account, because some of the strategies can be actually pretty simple and don't require uh, a huge amount of thought or process. But being able to show you that you can return a reasonable amount using 10 pound stakes is important for me. And I think it's important for people who are starting out trading because it just shows you that there is a path to follow. And in fact, in summary, I'd say it's actually probably a lot easier working with small stakes because you can put stakes in and out of the market without much disturbance uh, in the market. So, yeah, there you go. Um, blog post uh, refers to the, the strategy of using 10 pound stakes. You can see in this video. Um, how that's come about and what we've managed to return and so on and so forth. Um, and it just shows you that there are a number of ways in which you can use small amounts of money to get your trading career started. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.